Hello and welcome to the next inspiration pop up. How are you, Bridget? After a weekend of workshops? Oh, the, the Soul Circle retreat. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Really good. Yours? Yeah, very good energy. Lots of wow moments inside and outside. And yeah, we are happy that so many people came, like 20 people. It was really amazing. Just good very energy, nice. magic energy. So we are bringing the energy from both sides of the world now. And we are happy to help you today with four pillars of a healthy mind. That's our subject of today. And we have the specialist in my in, in Mallorca, yeah, in Cape Town today. That's Bridget. What is your hint to have a healthy mind? Well, this does tie in very much with what you and I created over the last, you know, few days. The first one is around awareness. And I know that this is something that comes up again and again and again, but it's been proven that the more aware you are and you are in that present moment, the easier it is not to go into a downward spiral, not to get into depression, not to feel anxious, but just to be present and aware. And, and the, the thing with this is it goes to the three minute rule. So you give yourself three minutes. So whatever you're doing, let's say you're brushing your teeth, You know, be aware, with, we be aware of doing that. Say you're eating an apple. Whatever it is you're doing, just be fully present to what it is you're doing. Yeah, to what it is you're doing. And also just at this moment, have a look. What am I thinking at the moment? And then bring you back what is in the moment. Because it's sometimes so crazy what the monkey mind is always doing and that we don't feel so well or so healthy because we have to do this and this and this and that. And now if you do something really in an awareness, then it brings you back. And of now moments will be, become wow moments. It's, a, it's an example. And I definitely have had this. And I don't know if you have, where I read a page and I'm like, I have no idea what I've read. Or I walk into a room and I've forgotten what I've, why I've gone into that room. So it's it, that, it, but, but the good side of that is that you are aware that you are not aware, which is a good thing because you've caught yeah. yourself. You're not just staying and reading a whole book and going, oh, I don't know the whole book. You know, you've caught yourself on page one going, hang on a minute, I'm not being present. Yeah, and it's so, you can really practice, I feel, with your mobile phone because sometimes you want to send someone a message or you want to put a date in your calendar and then you, you start to write, read this and look, have a look on Facebook, on Instagram and whoop, your monkey mind is also going away. So it's, it's really interesting if you really say, okay, what do I want to do? Do it and then just be present and that would be the second point of all that be connected to yourself and to that thing what you are doing at the moment but this for me is more about kindness appreciation gratitude it's about connection to other people and and uh yesterday i went to a so i do once a month a ladies lunch there's a group of us and you know there's a we're we're a collection of connected ladies that meet once a month. And for me, it's the same as the retreat. Once a month, it's a group of people that have created a connection on a spiritual level or on a soulful level. So that is so important because again, there's more people that suffer from loneliness than mm -hmm. from obesity. Loneliness literally kills people. So having your tribe and the people you connect with in all areas of your life are so important for your mental health. Even in the world when you're traveling, you know me and I'm so happy to have the nomad phase and nomad uh, digital nomad community and the coaching community so that I can jump from community to community because mm -hmm. I love these connections and uh, you can create your connection in every talent you have, every hobby you have, every, I don't know, um, region you have and it can, the connection comes through in a common point and this is so important to have a, to feel healthy as well 
So point number three, my dear. Point number three is insight around your self-talk and your narrative. And your narrative being the way that you see yourself and the way that you see yourself is the way that you choose to live your life and the, and the language you use when you describe yourself. Right. So you'll say, you know, I'm the kind of person that dot, 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 whatever. What is your narrative that you can just tell it to other people that they can have an example? I'm a healthy person that believes in strong connections with other people. Okay. And sometimes it's also an image, no? like some really like a thing that you have that you can connect to. No? For me, it is. Do you remember? It is a Wonder. rainbow. Wonder Ra oh, rainbow. rainbow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's a rainbow. Lots of colors, lots of diversity, lots of um, different people I connect to and different adventures a day I and have. and endless and it's just kind of ongoing and and spreading and bright and varied and yeah yeah and this is also an invitation to you who's watching now find your narrative sometimes it's a word sometimes it's a sentence sometimes it's a feeling and sometimes it's an image yeah yeah because then it's easier to step into that for sure yeah And then you, you know as well, then after that, I think sometimes you, if you really get connected to this image or to this narrative, then you also feel very well connected and then everything make, falls, in, falls into place. No? Mm. What you're doing, there's like an umbrella around it. Yeah. So. And the most important, well, not the most, important, they're all important, this is mm -hmm. super important, is having your purpose because your purpose is your direction so for me personally because I'm very clear about what I want and where I'm going everything that I'm doing on the way has got meaning and purpose there's nothing I'm doing that's just because I actually don't know what to do with my day or I'm killing time none of it none of it so find finding your purpose and getting direction gives you reason to actually get out of bed in the morning and just do anything right Mm -hmm. yeah and I can say Bridget is the specialist in finding your purpose yeah finding your talents finding your values as well because I always really count on values and since we have worked together since I have done my my coaching training and as I am with uh, working with people if you know your values as a kind of a net you can put it over everything you do and you will feel that it is your purpose you're doing it because of a certain reason and if you have it clear then it's so much easier to to um, take decisions to mm. to I don't know grow your business because you know the direction or the compass or whatever how you want to call it yeah and you are a perfect example of somebody a few years ago who was living a life of um, familiarity or comfort or just kind of habit I don't know what the words are security security and you've now created the life that you've always wanted to live without knowing it but there was something right? that, that pulled me all the time but I didn't have words for it or feelings for it no? but now exactly. I know it and then it's so also so good to help people to find their way and find their yeah. direction and I have to say it's going through some valleys of feelings but there are highs and downs and it's worth it i can tell you and i just want to end by saying if you can train your mind there's a difference right between saying to someone be kind and actually being kind so sometimes we have to not sometimes i think pretty much all the time we have to do it in order to be it and not just say it right Yeah, that's why we, we are called human beings and not human doings. So There just take this for the week and have a wonderful, inspiring and creative week. And we see each other next week. Bye. Bye.